Hi, well I'm so glad I have another opportunity to record another video for you today. You might notice I'm wearing the exact same thing as my previous video. But here I wanted to tell you, I know I'm just not going to have time later this month, so I'm going to do it now. December favorites. Things that I have been loving all this month. I'm going to try and get through this quick. I got this box. You might have seen it reviewed in other places. And I decided I wasn't going to actually tell you about it until I had a chance to use it. I've had it for more than a month now. And it's from Tarte. It's called their Gorgeous Getaways. And this box, I think was, what, $48? It was very reasonable. And I got it at Ulta. And I got it just before or just after Thanksgiving. Um, it was a holiday gift set. And I love it this box. Let me show you what's in it. <clears throat> you might have already seen it, but let me just tell you that if you don't have it and they still have it out there, go get you this box. Okay. But, um, here we go. Okay. Oh! I'm gonna do it this way. Here we go. Because right here, you'll see that there are four full-size blushes and there are 16 full-size eyeshadows. What I love about this is that you'll see that there are a mixture, if I can get in close enough here, of, um, I'm pointing the light is funny here, you're going to see not just matte, you're going to see shimmers, you're going to see um, all sorts of beautiful, beautiful shades. Um, and the great thing is, is that this has the ability to pull out these individual palettes, and that's just the best, because you can pull out these individual palettes, they even have the names on the back to tell you what's what. And um, and they're all complementary shades. So these shades, of course, go with this blush. And the thing is, I've been leaving them in the box in the bathroom. And I'll just pick up the lid and I'll take whichever color here, 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 and mix it with a blush. And they all really work together. I've only had like one kind of crazy combo because I wasn't paying attention. I was like, a little of this, a little of that. And I was like, oh, I bruised my eye. Looked like somebody hit me. But what I love here, this is the only palette that they'll have a little bit of sparkle to. If I turn it towards the light, you might be able to see it, but it's not really bad. This is like the shimmeriest one here, down here. Um, let's see how to do this. So these top two. And, and let's see, bottom one. Here we go. And they are just, I mean, they're super pigmented. They're fantastic. They're absolutely amazing. And then the blush. I think I have a thumb for the blush. I mean, truly gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to swatch them all for you because this will be a really long video. But um, I love all of them. And the thing is, I thought that maybe I wouldn't be able to wear all the blushes. And that's just not true. I can wear everything in here. Um, and I think it depends because one of the blushes, because it's a little bit more of a, works better as a bronzer on me because I, I tend to be a little bit fair. Um, and that's great. But I think that depending on how you use these colors, you can use them as long as you use them and you know how your skin works. I think these colors really going to work on most women. I wouldn't say all women because I'm not everybody. <laughs> I'm me. But I looked at this box and I said, I can wear at least 80 to 90% of that. And for that amount to get these high quality blushes and high quality eyeshadows from Tarte, I'm spending, it's, it wasn't $50. It was less than that. And imagine how much you would spend for half of that. It would be more than that. So here's the next one. And they are full size. Um, and I love this one because here you have these two here are matte. And these two here have a little bit of shimmer to them. And the shimmer ones, I'm going to go this way, are going to be right here. Let me pick up a little more color for you. There we go. And these guys here are going to be easier to see because, woohoo, yeah, there they are. Um, <clears throat> but you'll see the shimmer on these bad boys. The gold you'll really see. It's this... Um, this more taupey color is a little bit more, um, I think that's one of the few ones that you don't see like pow. Um, but the other guys, I mean, I use this one as a liner. Sometimes I'll even use this one as a liner. They're fantastic. And then this shade here is fabulous. And of course, it doesn't come out that, I mean, that's like a really thick, heavy swatch. Um, but it shears out really gorgeously. You know, pick up a little bit with the blush. And I have to be really careful with these blushes. Because, you know, otherwise you've got like a clown streak 
going on here. But these are great. And the great thing about these, um, I'm going to get a little wipe because the one I had going on. Yeah, it was from the last video that I recorded. They had stuff all over it. But this box, of course, comes with that amazing set of 16 eyeshadows and four blushes. But then you pull out this bottom tray down here and check this out. You also get three lip glosses, which I won't take the time to, sh to swatch for you, but they're really usable. Um, these two here tend to be a little bit more cool toned. And then this one here is has a little bit more warmth to it. But this palette here, this is what I really love about this because I do this. You may not do this, but I totally do this. I'll pull one of these out. Here's one of the other ones. And you can just pop it right in here. This little palette like this. It's like a little bow, a little tart bow. And you have a mirror. And then you have the palette. And, um, and it's super easy to take with you because it has the mirror with it. And there you go. And you have, it doesn't have any, you know, brush or anything for you. So you have to take your own stuff. But I always have a little, you know, bag in my purse with everything I might need. Um, brushes, I have mascara, eyeliner, concealer, a little bit of foundation, a little tiny container. I take it all because I never know when I'm going to need it. So this has been one of my favorite things I've been using all throughout the month of December. I absolutely love it. If there are any left, I know they have them at Sephora. I know they have them, have them at Ulta. Go and get you one. You will not regret it. If you got one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And holiday time um, is some of the best time to get these types of big deals from these big name um, cosmetic brands. They're just fantastic. All right, other things that I have been loving and really appreciating. Since I live in the cold, cold, cold Pacific Northwest, I mean, I, I don't live in the temperate areas like Seattle or Portland. I live where it's cold and it's been snowing and it's been like 15 degrees during the day. Um, the spray and go, because I have two kids, little ones. I don't have time to like be lotioning my whole body. I spray this out of the shower. And, and by the time I'm like done putting on my face moisturizer and stuff, I can actually pull my clothes on and I'm not greasy and I don't leave like big giant yucky wet marks as I pull on pants or worry about getting like my nice blouses for work. Yucky. This is awesome. I love this. And it even sprays while you're like upside down, like going down your back. It works. I love that. Another thing I didn't think I'd be using, I saw a review from Emily Noel at Beauty Broadcast for um, a lot of the cabana, a lot of the um, balm blushes. I can't talk. And she said this one, Cabana Boy, was more for deep skin tones and then I saw it and I said really is that really for deep skin tones because I saw it um, online and the picture was more pinky and not quite so plummy and then I ordered it and I was like oh she was right this really is for people who have darker skin than me but I said well now I own it I'm so gonna use it and the truth is it's what I'm wearing today and I find that in the summertime I wear more peachy colors because I'm wearing a little bit more bronzer and stuff like that because I don't suntan at all. I wear some bronzer. I'm SPF like 75 queen. I'm always wearing SPF. Um, but in the winter time, I'm still wearing SPF. It's only like 35 or 40. Um, but this color, even though it's like really, really dark, I mean, it's dark. But it, with the light wash, it's so pretty. I love this color. And even, you know, you might think that it might be too dark for you, but I'm really pale. I mean, this is white. <laughs> I'm pretty pale. This is a fabulous color. And in the wintertime, I love this color by the Balm. Cabana Boy is fantastic. All right. Um, I also got, I got that, by the way, um, from Birchbox. Another Birchbox find that I have been loving, it came in my November box, um, was the Liz Earl, um, the hot muslin cloth plus their hot cleanser. Um, the cleanser, yay, hooray, but I have been using these cloths like nobody's business with my own cleanser. Um, and I use the Bosha um, oil cleanser at night just to take up, to emulsify all of my makeup off. And then I find that when I use a washcloth, it would just take, make sure I get everything off. Well, I like this better because I can do a little exfoliating. 
Um, and then my skin is got all of its layers of everything off makeup and dry skin. And then I just put on my night cream and my skin has just been so happy. So, and these are two for $6. I don't know how long Birchbox is going to be. Um, they ran out after they had them initially. So I had to wait for the second run of them and I got four of them because <laughs> I did not want to run out and that's okay. So these are fantastic. I love them. I would highly recommend them. I know that there are com other companies that do this because Liz Earl is a British company, but they're fantastic. And as long as I can get them, I will continue to use these. I am a true believer. All right, so there's that. Um, I also got, and I, this is the, the mascara I'm wearing today, but I notice, if you can see over here, I usually have really stubby eyelashes. And this mascara, I really like. And I'm, I'm really hard to sell on mascara because I get transferred to the bottom and this has not been transferring on me and I find that I get longer lashes when I curl and then I put this on my lashes are longer than normal I was like wow what is this stuff and it was a full-size product that came in my ipsy bag last month and it's from Michelle Fon's M Cosmetics and I was like Wow, what is this goodness? And this is called Lash Gallery. It's Dramatic Volume Mascara. And it's $20, so I may or may not be purchasing it again. But it's brand new. It's much better than I expected. It's truly a really great mascara. I really like it. And I like what it does, I mean, for my length. Because I my eyelashes are short and stubby. And this is some pretty good stuff. And I've been wearing it for a while. I don't have any transfer down here. It doesn't really flake off that much on me. I like this a lot. All right, last thing I have for you. Well, second to last thing. I forgot about this. My new, and I've worn this before and I forgot how amazing it was. And it's even called Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. I have an enormous, enormous, what can I call it? A zit. That's what it is. It's a big zit right here. And I'm hoping that if I didn't point it out to you, you wouldn't know. But it's as big and red as my lips. Like, right there. You might be able to see the bump in the light. But this way, you might have noticed it before. Part of me is going, please say you didn't notice it before. <laughs> but this thing covered it up. And there's another one, like, over here. And this stuff really hides almost everything. And all I'm wearing today is concealer. I'm not wearing anything else. I've got some concealer on under here, not too much of it. A little bit around here. I've got some here. I've got some here. And I've got a little bit over here because I've got the leftovers of one over here. Boy, like my almost 40 year old face is going, we're a teenager again. We're a teenager again. And so regular concealer is not cutting it. This is full cover, full cover concealer. And this stuff is awesome. And they used to only make like five shades and now they make like 20 shades and get you down to Ulta or get you down to Sephora and check this stuff out. Amazing. Like, and that's why they called it that. It's really, really fantastic. All right. So the last thing I have for you are lip colors for the holiday season, especially if you're going to party for New Year's and things like that, or just fun colors to wear now that we can wear all sorts. Well, you can always wear it any year, but I know any time of the year, but this time of year, bold lips. All right, one of my favorites and that I love is from NARS. It is their Satin Lip Pencil in Luxembourg. I can talk. I get paid to talk for a living. Did you know that? I'm a radio DJ. <clears throat> it's this. It's kind of half between like, like a fuchsia pink and a red. It's kind of like that cherry popsicle you might have in summertime when you were maybe 10 years old or something it's fantastic i love this color it's not really red it's not really hot pink it's right in the middle and it really walks that fine line and it's super bold it's amazing all right another one i love this one here is the one i'm wearing today and it's from clinique it's their chubby stick intense in grandest grape this one is beautiful just up a little bit more here for you. This is going to be right next to Luxembourg. This has much more of that purple or that berry tone, but this is what it looks like on the lip. 
and well on my lip I should say but I love this because sometimes I'm always like can I really pull off a, a purple um, and and this is just enough purple and just enough plum that yes you can and it's not too purple -y. All right, another one that I like for this time of year, and this is more of a long wearing lipstick, and I love Clinique because they're high end and they're super affordable. And this one here is their high impact lip color in After Party. And it looks like this. So it's got kind of like the brushed color here, the, the brushed silver. There we go. That's After Party. Um, it has a little bit of a sparkle to it not much you can see a little bit of a sparkle to it it's not quite as um, rich and color saturated this way but you definitely can build it up and the nice thing about it is even though that's a little bit more intensity it's much darker so it gives you more of that really dark vampy lip but what I love about this is that even though it is that long lasting you never dry out you never feel yucky because it does have really nice emollient um, hydrating qualities to it one of my last favorites to wear if you don't like if you want some color but you don't want to end up being totally like like one of these guys here is this one this is from lipstick queen one of my favorite lipstick brands this one it looks pure on red doesn't it yeah this is called medieval and medieval is that it's a sheer wash of color. It's actually called a lip treatment. So it makes your lips look just that much better. Now, of course, that's one swatch of Medieval. Now, next to it, I'll do like multiple swatches so that you can just, I'm just going back and forth over it, over it, over it. So you can make it look more like that. And on your lips that already have their own natural color underneath them, that looks more and more and more like bright on red. And so you can do a, a light wash if you like kind of that almost lipstick, but not enough, but it's super hydrating. It's like pure on deliciousness for your lips. And it's, it's almost like a beautiful chapstick. And then here is several layers of medieval. It's just the best thing ever. I love it. If you want to try lipstick without it being too much, you might want to get this one from Lipstick Queen. It's one of their most popular shades. Give it a try. And if you're one of those going, I don't wear bright lipsticks, the nudes from Lipstick Queen, and this is, they have two lines. They have what they call their Saint line, which is kind of like a sheer lipstick. Not as quite as sheer as these. They have a little bit more color to them. And they're called their Saints. And then they have the exact same colors in their Saints. Um, and then they're called their sinners. So you can have this color either sheer or you can have it fully opaque. This is 90% color. This is called Pinky Nude Sinner. And it comes sheer or it comes opaque. And this is the opaque version. This is Pinky Nude. So right here, this is my the one that looks best on me. If you get the pinky, not the peachy nude. Peachy Nude makes me look like death on a cracker. Pinky Nude is what I needed to help bring out some of the more color in my face. And it's one of my favorite, it's the best nude I've ever found for my skin tone. But they have a wide variety from nudes all the way down to deep purples and wines. Um, almost nearly black. Beautiful, beautiful shades. Excellent quality. And they're between $20 and $24. Very, very nicely priced for either shears, extremely opaques like this, because you won't see your lip color, your natural lip color through the opaques. Um, and then they have special things like this. Check out Lipstick Queen if you haven't yet. So, December favorites. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.